Good morning, folks. SDO doing its calibration rolls yesterday still caught a solar eruption. Later today, I hope to post a video with the vote interview I did yesterday, but right now we're going to spaceweathernews.com. In addition to the satellite roll, that little sunspot group stifled itself there to the right of the coronal hole. But as the roll ends, watch the bottom right of the sun. The action you are seeing there is a plasma filament that tore away from the south polar crown, and I hope you can see in 304 angstroms how much of it fell back down to the sun. The solar wind is still calming as we await impact from this coronal hole stream. It should arrive tonight or tomorrow with modest geomagnetic disruptions being probable. I'm staying close to home for the top weather story today. While the record cold and snow marks were confined to Los Alamos, the Albuquerque roadways yesterday were outlandish. Hundreds of crashes. Let's go right to the science, starting with Io. Jupiter's most volcanically active moon put on a show for the solstice. Bright dot on the dark half is a volcano. In this one, the brightest spot is the magnetic connection it has to Jupiter, but the rest are volcanoes. Quite the interesting little moon. Second place for aesthetic beauty is Ultima Thule. They have some better shots a day later and looks a bit like Frosty the Snowman. Up next, let's find an incredible piece on the climate. Now first, we have to remember the three studies done by Princeton late last year, claiming that every climate model underappreciates the cooling aspect of clouds. The same line of thinking was applied to the mathematical modeling, and it turns out they found 65% of climate is driven entirely by cloud cover, and CO2 might only be blamed for 0.2 degrees of warming. Remember folks, cosmic rays are the number one modulator of global cloud fraction. Last but not least, MIT checking to make sure people are really paying attention. They have found a definitive 20,000 year cycle in the Saharan wetness versus desert conditions, but they say it wavers slightly with the driver being Earth's axis tilt. The problem is that the axis tilt cycle of Earth is not 20,000 years. We've got a little magnetic wander cycle at 12,000 and precession at 26,000. So while the dating is questionable, tough to doubt that cycle there. As I mentioned, we did the vote interview yesterday. We were a bit all over the place, so the first of these videos hopefully comes out tonight, and this is something you will not want to miss. We also have an announcement about the conference during that interview, but I bet you can guess that gem already. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.